Since Abbey took power, a tumultuous cascade of unprecedented and harrowing events has swept through Ethiopia. Plunged into Africa's deadliest civil war, plagued by ethnic strife, grave human rights abuses, pervasive corruption, mass exodus, famine, hyperinflation, and a wave of high-profile killings, extortions, disappearances, and appalling accounts of torture have left the country in chaos. High-profile assassinations have incited ethnic violence, leading to untold loss of innocent lives and wide-scale property devastation. None of the high-profile killings has been properly investigated and are nobody held accountable. Many Ethiopians have long harboured suspicions about the involvement of Abiy Ahmed and the Oromia regional government under Shemelis in these high-profile assassinations. Now, a groundbreaking month-long investigative report by Reuters has finally laid bare the truth and confirmed these suspicions. In a recent explosive investigative report by Reuters, jaw-dropping revelations have come to light about Abiy Ahmed, a Nobel laureate and recipient of the prestigious Peace Prize. It has been exposed that he is leading a sinister and covert committee that is directly involved in horrific acts of extrajudicial killings, torture and rampant abuse. Abi is possibly the first Nobel Peace Prize winner to be directly and personally implicated in murders and tortures, all while holding the Nobel Peace Prize. This is an absolute disgrace and an outrage that deeply stains the credibility of the Nobel Committee. Reuters conducted an extensive investigation, interviewing over 30 federal and local officials, judges, lawyers and victims of torture. Internal documents reviewed by Reuters shed light on the operations of the, the committee named Kori Naginya. It was established shortly after Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed took office in 2018. The federal government had every right to deploy federal security forces and use force in order to apprehend those... The committee, comprising high-ranking officials in Ethiopia, including President Shimelis Abdisa of Oromia, has been implicated in numerous human rights abuses, including hundreds of arbitrary arrests and killings, according to Reuters sources. This committee is reportedly central to Prime Minister Abiy's efforts to quell long-standing opposition. The gatherings, typically convened in Oromia regional offices and overseen by Abiy's Chief of Staff, Oromia Region President Shimelis Abdisa, alongside other high-ranking security and civilian officials, operate with absolute impunity. The findings of the investigation were brought to Daniel Bekele, head of the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission, EHRC, who confirmed the existence of Kori Naginya. The EHRC has documented multiple cases of extrajudicial killings, arbitrary detentions, torture and extortion linked to this clandestine body. The surge of never-ending political assassinations, civil wars, ethnic violence and brutal torture has become intolerable. The chilling revelation of the Prime Minister's direct role in these atrocities is not just shocking, it demands immediate and resolute action. The international community possesses indisputable evidence of his involvement in war crimes, genocides and atrocities. How many more lives must be lost before we finally put an end to this horrifying bloodshed in Ethiopia? How much longer will the world wait to take meaningful steps to confront this grave crisis? <laughs>